it's pretty much pointless for me to even make a video about this. About the fucking wage gap. And yet, here I am, making a video response to this ad. Sure, it's only 30 seconds long, but I just feel like I need to make this video because, well, it's not because it's extremely fucking bad and contains one of my favorite actors of all time, Seth Rogen, which now I'm starting to lose a lot of respect because not only is he, you know, promoting feminism in his, you know, latest movie, um, the neighbors too, but also he's in this ad supporting feminism by talking about the fucking wage gap. This particular ad is going to piss off a certain individual. It's not because he hates me, but because he likes me. This individual, I respect a lot. First time I come came on YouTube, I looked up to his videos, and, you know, I'm a fan of his. And now we see eye to eye. Like, we're on the same um, battle, battleground. <laughs> you know, the student has become the master. I am, of course, referring to WarCorp666. And if he's watching this video, I guarantee you, without a doubt, that he is going to make a video response to this fucking ad. And he's going to drink the same amount of beer that is within his blood. That being said, let's begin. Bud Light Party here to discuss equal pay. That's the perfect idea to talk about equal pay by being in a commercial that's about selling beer to mostly men. Huh. Funny on how that works. Women don't get paid as much as men and that is wrong. Yeah, you're totally right about that. Except for one issue and that is the Equal Pay Act of 19 something something that exists. You know. The thing that prevents companies from paying women less than men is, you know, they got a vagina. Just, you know, point it out there. Links in the description. And we have to pay more for the same stuff. What? Yeah, cars. What? Dry cleaning. This is new. This is totally fucking new. Um, I, there, there's... Where the fuck do you even get this idea that women pay more money for cars? I mean, I believe men take care of their cars more often than women. And as for dry cleaning, what what, what do you expect? You know, to, you know, go to dry cleans more, men or women? It's women. Women use dry cleaners more often than fucking men. The last time my father went to the dry cleaners were like two to three years ago. What? Shampoo. What? Shampoo are more expensive than men shampoo because they have more ingredients. Nothing is preventing you from buying Shelton Blue. And it goes vice versa for men. If you want to have... You know, nice, wavy fucking, you know what? You gotta buy that more expensive shampoo. It's just how marketing works. The higher the price, chances are that it's, it's a better fucking product. And it's probably good for your fucking hair. I mean, I could use my mother's shampoo, but I don't. You know, the only shampoo that I ever use is Selsun fucking Blue. You pay more, but get paid less? That is double wrong. I'm calling everyone I know, and I'm telling them about this. This has got to stop. Right there is how religions work. You know, you listen to one person, believe all their fucking lies, and then you go like, Oh my God! This needs to be spread! We gotta tell the fucking truth! You know, call 911! Let them know about the truth! We must spread the fucking truth! Bud Light proudly supports equal pay. I guess WarCorp 66 is gonna stop drinking Bud Light. At least 
I think he drinks Bud Light. I mean, do you really, really think that it's a good idea to talk about, um, fucking equal pay uh, during an ad that's all about fucking beer? It makes no goddamn sense. Beer. Equal pay. That's why Bud Light costs the same, no matter if you're a dude or a lady. It's true for pretty much every goddamn product. If two people, uh, one male and one female, decide to buy the exact same product, do you really think men just get an automatic fucking discount for having a god fucking penis? Yeah, mom, you have to pay more for a car than dad. No one treats my mom like this. They actually believe in that shit. Holy fucking shit! It, it's, it's official. There is no God. Like, I know I'm supposed to be a skeptic. I'm supposed to be skeptical of the existence of God. But this is living proof that whatever God exists has died. This God has ceased to exist, or at least cease to care about this planet, because of people like Amy Schumer and fucking Seth Rogen with their feminist politics. Ooh. Humanity is fucking doomed. So. Warcorp 666, it's your turn. Till then, I am the Atheist Gamer, and keep gaming on.